In this clip, I will show you how you can use swap to visualize variables in the soil profile as a function of depth and time. To do this, I need to go to the tab Profile in the Output menu. For this explanation, I will use the results from the experiments Control and Groundwater 150 cm that I saved in the first input menu clip. These experiments differ in initial groundwater level. Please note that I have selected both experiments. If you open the Profile tab, two graphs are visible. The upper graph is a time series, the same type of graph as you can find in the Time Series tab. The second graph shows the vertical profile of a soil variable at the time interval that corresponds to the vertical black line in the upper graph. In this case, you see the vertical profile of the soil water content on the 1st of January. You can see two lines in the profile plot. This means that there is a difference in soil water content between the two experiments. In the lower left corner of the control panel, you can see that the orange line represents the results of the control experiment and the blue line represents the results of the groundwater level 150 centimeter experiment. If you want to, you can change the colors of the lines for the different experiments using Adjust Settings in the control panel. As you can see in the control panel, the Info mode is selected. In the profile graph, you see a horizontal black line that indicates the depth for which the value of the variable is given. Just like with the vertical black line in the time series, information about the plotted variable can be found at the top of the graph. The depth of the horizontal line is given in the control panel, and to the right of this, you can see an upward and downward button. With these buttons, you can move the horizontal line through the profile. You can also place the cursor directly on the graph and click. If you are interested in seeing how the profile evolves through time, you can use the forward and backward buttons located next to Time in the control panel. Within the tab Profile, you can create a time series for a variable at a specific depth within the profile. This is different from the Time Series tab, where you can create a time series for variables that are relevant for the entire system. Select Adjust Settings at the top left of the graph. Now, on the left, you will find three graph choices. I select Time Series. Next to this, you can adjust the depth of the time series. I choose a depth of minus one meter and click on Adjust Settings again. The depth of the time series can still be adjusted using the up and down buttons in the control panel. You can see how a variable varies both with depth and with time by making a contour plot. To make a contour plot, I click on Adjust Settings and select Contour. After clicking Adjust Settings again, the two contour plots are visible. The left one is a contour plot of the control run and the right one is a contour plot of the groundwater 150 centimeter run. The colors represent the values of the plotted variable. In this case, the water content. The legend is visible below the graphs. If you are in the info mode, two black lines are visible. The horizontal line represents the depth, which is similar to the profile graph and the vertical line represents the time interval, which is similar to the time series graph. The soil water content at the intersection of these two lines is given above the graph. You can select another intersection point by clicking anywhere in the graph, or by using the buttons in the control panel. Furthermore, you can zoom in on a specific event at a specific depth after activating the zoom mode in the control panel. In this clip, 
I have explained how to plot vertical profiles and contours of soil variables using the Profile tab.